In this tutorial, you will learn how to attach any objects to a wall, or any plane surface to be honest. In the first example, you will learn how to track using the planar tracker and how to position the text in a realistic way, using a corner pin. The second part will cover another way of using the planar tracker. We will magic mask our subject and abracadabra. Our subject is on top of the image attached to the wall. My name is Tudor Baba. DaVinci Resolve Certified User. If I got your attention, make sure you watch till the end and we will master the Resolve Planar Tracker. We are now in the Edit tab and here is the clip. Our goal is to attach a new text on the left wall. Open Fusion and let's make some space and let's add the Planar Tracker node. A simple way to do that is to select the media in Node and press Shift then Space on your keyboard and search for Planar. I will move the node to the right and let's start the tracking. In the right menu, make sure you have the inspector open. You have multiple operation modes. Make sure track is selected. For this clip, I want to track from the beginning of the clip, so I will set this reference time. Change the tracker type from point to hybrid point or area. Depending on your clip, there is a possibility to use a different motion type but for me, perspective works well. To improve your tracking data, go to Options menu and increase your trial length. This is optional, but it's good to know. Go back to Controls and let's draw the area that we want to track. In my case, I will track this part of the wall. The style of the wall is good enough to make it work. Let's track to end. Looks good. Let's add the text now. I have the media in selected and press on this text button. I will type the text Da Vinci result here. The text is in the center of the screen now. Let's attach it to the wall. Click on the planar tracker node and from the inspector click on the create planar transform. At this moment we have a new node. To put it in between text and the merge node, press the shift on your keyboard and move the node until the arrow is in a different color. Now select the text node and search for corner positioner. Now let's move the corners and increase the size of the text a little bit. Looks good already, but we can improve it even more. Let's be creative. I will change the style of the text to be bigger and yellow. Next, let's add a shadow by searching for drop shadow node. Zoom in and change the style as you wish. Another way to move the text is by adding a new transform node. You can change the scale or the position. The final touch, select the merge node and in the inspector click on settings. You can adjust the blend to make it more realistic. If you like, you can activate the motion blur as well. I'm pleased with the result. Let's see the effect on the full screen. Moving on, in this clip I want to attach an image to the wall. We already know how to track using the planar tracker, so let's do it again. I will change all the settings like in the previous example and let's draw the area now. It's time to track to end. From the media pool, I will drag and drop an image with the Resolve logo. I want to show you a different way of working with the tracker. From the operation mode, instead of track, select the corner pin. 
Let's adjust the corners. Now connect the image to the tracker. Here is the result so far. Let me know in the comment what's your favorite way of working with the planar tracker. As before, we can change the blend and motion blur settings, but this time we can do it from the planar tracker node. Let's add the drop shadow as well and make it as we like. You can zoom in for better results. Next step is to make our character on top. The first step is to duplicate the media in and move it after the planar tracker. A merge node is created automatically. Let's add the magic mask. In the inspector, make sure the selected stroke mode is add. Now I will zoom in and I will draw a new line on the character. The magic mask did the job very well. And now I can see the logo again. Let's track both ways by clicking this button. Job done. Let's see the entire effect again. See you next time.